What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm. We're back at the chicken composting system. Let's do a little bit of work. So it's been two weeks since you've seen what's going on here and I have done almost nothing. We're sitting in bay two right now. The only thing I have done is every, well about twice a week. So I've done it four times. I uh, will take all the material that's here, put it back in two piles, put it in one corner and then put it in the other corner. Um, let them scratch it all apart again and in a few days do it again. So that's all I've been doing here and I need to add some more stuff into this bin. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We actually got a bunch of bags of stuff from my brother. He was doing a bunch of yard work and said he couldn't use it all, wasn't going to use it all. So I went over and got a whole lot of bags of yard waste. Just pretty much uh, raked up material, leaves, um, some grass clippings, some um, pine needles, some little twigs. You can see the bottom of the cinder blocks here, so we still have a lot of room to <laughs> fill this in. I'm just gonna leave a pile of it right here for them and let them scratch it apart. Let them have a good time. So now let's turn you around. Well, actually, let's back it up. Is it fast enough? TikTok, you ruined me. <laughs> All right, and that's bay two. Oh, can you guys see what's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah. All right, bay two, we are going to take all of it and put it now where you're standing in bay three. So we got a corner on this side and a corner on this side. We'll be throwing it, starting it, boom, in the corner, and then we'll snail it right down the wall. Same with the other side. We'll start it off in the corner where she's at. And then boom, we'll snail it down the wall. Some of the bigger stuff, like a pine cone, I'm gonna throw it back into the coop. Twigs, sticks, I'll throw it back in there. Stuff like that. Not all of it, but a lot of it. We'll start go ahead and start sifting through that and throw it in there. After we're done with this right here, we're gonna go back to this compost pile that we have made before. It was all the material that was in here. We're gonna look at it real close. By real close, I mean really close. We're gonna turn the whole pile, look at the whole pile, see what's going through everything, and uh, kind of assess that pile, see if it's ready to be used yet. So stay tuned. After we're done with that, that's exact. That's what we're gonna be doing right behind us. All right, guys, we are done clearing out bay two. Let's give you a look at the floor. Let's back you out and look at the piles. There's the one. Pretty good sized piles, about three and a half, four foot long, three foot high, three and a half foot high. Same with this one over here that these girls are playing on. I'm sure they'll have it kicked down to a foot and a half, two feet in a couple of days. And that's when we'll snail it down the wall. When they kick it apart like they did in bay two, we'll, as we're picking it back up, we'll put it against the wall. So keep snailing it down, keep snailing it down till we get to the end. And we have our finished stuff over here that we're letting sit for a while that Miss Whiskers is protecting. Is there some mices in there? Why are you on there, girl? So let's turn this pile, open it up, see what it looks like, see if it's ready. 
right. It is a little sticky. Well, sticky. It's got some sticks in it. It's all right. This, what I'm talking about, big, healthy earth night crawlers, earthworms, right there. Yes. All right. So they are working this pile well. But the pile doesn't stink at all. It's not quite potty mix material yet, but it's definitely awesome compost, top dressing for the garden. And you, get, you have to get really close on it to kind of distinguish the what some of the stuff is, and you can't even tell what some of it is. It's just blackness, black gold. These girls are over here searching through, trying to find the worms. All right. This is looking good. All right, so let's go ahead and finish turning this pile. It'll put some air into it. I'm sure it needs some. It's been sitting for a while. And then I'm sure we'll use it within the next few weeks out in the gardens. I'm gonna try to still pull out some sticks while I'm going through, throw them aside. Worms are definitely loving this though. And we could definitely sift this material if we wanted some potty mix material, some really fine stuff. We could definitely sift this and get that. All we need is some like 1 16th welded wire um, and pretty much put that on there, shake it back and forth over a, a wheelbarrow. The fine stuff's gonna fall through and you can use that in your seed trays or your seed block make, soil block makers. <laughs> Start your seeds in. Uh, there's a cat rubbing on the tripod so it's gonna get shaky. Come on. So yeah, you don't have to use it just like this. You, like I said, you can sift it, use that sifted material, and then uh, after you use that <laughs> sifted material, you can use this in the garden. So overall, it's doing really well. Give you a really close look up on it. The worms are doing an awesome job to it in the past month or so. Um, we're gonna use it in two weeks um, when we really start planting in the beds, when, it, when it's a few weeks before our frost. Uh, our, late, our, our last frost is between like April 12th to April 20th, somewhere around in there. Uh, it is about the beginning of February. No, no, March, excuse me. So let's give you a close look.
So it's looking good. We're gonna be planting some seed starts soon and we'll be using this to dress around the seed starts. Help give the plant some fertility and help with the weeds that may pop up if we're suppressing them with this compost. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed that edition of the compost condo, make sure you smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I am gonna leave you with a few minutes of chicken compost condo TV. Check them out.